you talk about economic development or job creation, and people came to me and just threw that word at me and said, give me four or five words that come to mind when you hear economic development or jobs. One of the responses I would give is immigration. It's that important. And we shouldn't forget that. It's interesting if you look at the last decade or so, though. Immigration, in many respects in our country, has been viewed as a negative topic, a divisive topic, where not much has gotten done. And a lot of arguing, big green, and fighting is going on. And if you stop and look in the bigger perspective, how bad that is, how destructive that's been. Clearly not constructive at all, but in fact, I view it as largely destructive. Because if you step back and look at the history of this country, what would be on your list of key associations that you come up to to talk about the success of the United States? And you had to do a short list of what are the major policies or philosophies of our country that made us a great country. Immigration would be on that list. Being proactive and positive about immigration. And I think it's really unfortunate that many people have forgotten that over the last decade or so. And part of it is, is we've taken it for granted. And we've forgotten the power that has come from that. And my view is, is I would rather have us be proactive to say, well, if people are starting to hesitate around the country, can we raise our hand and say, we want to be a pilot for encouraging a lot more immigration? And can we designate an area of our state that's economically challenged? For example, Detroit. Could be in a number of other places. And say, give us five or 10,000 green cards and come up with a path to make sure people are going through the process of all the security clearances, everything else. But give us an opportunity to say, please come here. You're welcome to come. And really be a leader in showing the economic model of success. And people will say, well, we don't know if that will work. Well, come on now. It worked for 200 years. <laughs> and the other part is, it will work because We'll decide whether it works or not work. And don't we want it to work? Let's just get her done. So that's why I would suggest is as this discussion goes on, if there's a window, I'm happy to speak up. But I'd feel a whole lot better if all you spoke up with me and raised your hand and said, hey, we'll go out in front on this one. We'll be a pilot. We'll take as many immigrants that we can do in a smart way as possible. And we accept it. We think it's a cool idea. Let's go. So if you're up for that, Speak up. I don't view this as a partisan issue. I view this as an American issue. This is who we are. I mean, isn't it people going out to come to our country to create great organizations and build companies and have success? And it's the American dream. And we should be encouraging that. So my view is, is let's get away from that negative connotation that it's taking away jobs, it's creating issues. Well, there are concerns, but overall, isn't it better to get a good long-term solid answer in place and then build on that? And instead of having people fight with one another, figure out how we can all win together.